you probably know about this little indie series, this little short little show no one knows about, but you probably might know it. It's called The Good Place, you know, it's like some dumb little show, like a comedy thing, but like, because like the most annoying main character of all time with like... A very just strange cast of characters that uh are cool as fudge. Nah, I'm joking. Um, the main character does suck though. I, I don't like her though. But the good place. So it's a basically just like a show. So it's basically on like the whole like heaven and hell thing but they call heaven the good place and they call hell the bad place and then there's this like guy named michael who's who's like a demon boss who creates this simulation to torture these four people by making them believe they're in the good place and then like they find out that they're not in the good place and then like th this whole so then, like, the demon guy, Michael, he, like, erases them. They're, like, brains. Like, 800 plus times. And he just, like, gives up. And, like, well, like, three episodes into the second season, he just, like, he just gives up. And and <laughs> he just gives up and becomes a good guy all of a sudden. Um... Yeah, so we have, like, four main characters, five, six, six, like, six main characters, really. So we got Michael, Tahani, Eleanor, um, Janet, uh, fuck, what the fuck, <laughs> philosopher guy, and, um, Jason. Some dope Florida man. Um. Yeah, so. The first season was just, like, pretty simple. Just, like, oh. Yeah, there's a mystery behind this simulation. Right, in the second season, like, the simulation's been, like, reset multiple times. Then Michael's, like, off, uh. Oh, damn, bro. You got me. I give up. I want to be a good person now. So then they make Michael a good person. This whole show basically is about... Um... Redemption or something. Like... No matter how bad... Of a person you are... There's always time to change. There's always room to change. Or something like that. So we have Eleanor who's like a complete scumbag on Earth. Right? She did a bunch of scummy things when she was on Earth before she died. Um. Alondi. I... I forgot his... He's like the best character in the show. And I forget his freaking name. Dude. Cheaty. Cheaty is his name. Cheaty some philosopher dude. Who's really bad at making decisions. And is annoying as heck. With like philosophy questions. And just can't make up his mind about things. Um, we have Tahani. Who is a very self-conscious and, um, uh, like, jealous kind of person. Then you have Jason, who's, like, complete freaking doofus, dumbass, that, um, did a lot of stupid stuff. Because he's from Florida. So all these four, these, these four people did bad things. Oh, yeah, then Michael, he's a demon. That's the whole shtick about the bad place. 
is that they all just love bad things. So, yeah. So, basically, with the help of Chidi, the philosopher dude, basically, he just carries the whole show and, like, the whole message of this show by just being, like, helping everyone be a good person and a little bit better than who they really are. Oh, yeah, and then there's Janet, but she doesn't really do anything bad. She's like a like a helper support character. Um Yeah. So they just go like leaping from like different places in the bad place to try and get to the good place. Because their whole thing is that they they gotta go to the good place. They have to like convince this judge person but that doesn't work. It's just like a whole mishmash of stuff. Um, but the ending of this show, the final season, was pretty solid. It was a pretty solid conclusion, you know? So it was like after everything they'd done, they finally, like, settle with a deal to the judge lady. They're like... We'll keep it a simulation. No, no, no. No, they all make it to the good place. But then... They sort of, like, manipulate the good place. And somehow, like, like change it. So that... Instead of... Um... Uh... Immortality thing... That there's another way to go beyond the good place. Like, you can just, like, stop existing forever, basically. So, throughout, so, like, the last episode, you see these the four main characters, besides uh, Tahani. She stays in the good place. And, like, helps with, like, the maintenance, maintenance thing, main, maintenance thing or whatever like she becomes like an important person but like the other three characters they all just they just dip you know like in the last episode you just see them all just like think about life and fully appreciate all they are and all that they've done and then just like it's time for me to head out. I don't want to be here anymore. Peace. So it's just like all these... The rest of the characters all just leaving. And then... We have Michael... Who wants... To, who wants to, um... Also leave, but he can't because he's a demon. So he made a deal with the judge lady... To become... A mortal human being... So he gets sent to Earth and has a mortal human soul and stuff so that he can live a full human life and then die as a human so that way he can go past the good place. And that's essentially it. That's the whole show basically summed up in eight minutes. With all being said, it was a pretty decent show. Like, it wasn't a masterpiece, it wasn't amazing or incredible in anything. It's just, like, a nice show that you can easily binge because it's it's entertaining. It's entertaining, it's a fun show with a solid message to it and a solid story to it that, uh, with a s decent characters, I would say. That's pretty much, I give the show, like, a, like a 7.8. Or so, you know, there's comedy in it. Sometimes the jokes land. Sometimes it's whatever. There's some giggles here and there. But, you know, it's not, like, the funniest thing of all time. And Eleanor is, like, the creepiest freaking cat. She's, like, my gosh, bro. Like, I, I couldn't, bro. But Tahani, though. Tahani was hot as shit, bro. 
Like, yeah, that's like the hottest British girl I've ever seen, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Enough. Again, it was also a point where, like, the four main characters' lives basically reset to the points before they die. So they get back placed in Earth in the events before they die, but Michael comes and saves them from dying. So that way they keep living, but he, like, orchestrates it so where they all form me together and stuff but like that plan does not work in the slightest <laughs> they don't I don't know the writing in the show is, was, was like a little bit all over the place but I could see how this show was popular I mean hey it's whatever you know but The Good Place, I already said 7.8 out of 10. It's not the greatest show of all time, but it's a fun watch. I recommend it. Peace.